This is a video response to Dex Island Enigma's Yugi Tubing Part 3. Uh, it's all the same shit. Um, I think a lot of people do multiple deck profiles of the same deck other people have done because they just want to try and do what other people do and get subs for it. Sometimes I think it's not too bad to do it. I mean, getting more people's opinions on the same deck might show you something new that you hadn't seen before. I don't, I don't think it's really good that everyone does the same deck profiles. I, I kind of wish there was a more variety to it. But if someone's doing a deck profile on a deck and they're using a special card that no one else is using, then maybe it's worth it to watch that deck profile. You might learn something. I mean, most people generally go with Soul Release for the side deck, but some people may go with Big Burn, and Big Burn may be better for some decks than others. Like Anti-Meta decks, Big Burn is just... It's so easy to use, especially any type of gadget deck or whatever that doesn't use the grave. Um, some people may think Clear World is bad and may point out some downsides to it. Well, then again, some people may think Clear World is good and point out good sides to it. So as for the whole making the same videos, if it's somehow showing a different perspective, I don't think it's bad. But yeah, if it's the same deck video with the same perspective, then yeah, I don't think it needs to be posted. But I think everyone just wants to give their opinion on it. Uh, I made my own YouTube channel probably at the beginning of this year, I'd say. I actually started doing it seriously. And I just do it to express my opinion and show people what I think and stuff like that. I don't expect subs for it. I mean, if I get subs, that's cool. If I don't, then oh well. It's not like it's a make or break thing for me. I'm not trying to make a living off of it. Um... I mean, I just think getting more people's opinions on maybe the same cards would be a good idea. I know a lot of people who say Trigodia is bad in gadgets, but then I know a lot of people who say Trigodia is good in gadgets. And each one has their own argument. Uh, overall, I think Trigodia is good in gadgets because you can obviously summon it when you have a pressure on the field or a bunch of back rows and then start ditching ga dead gadgets to take level 4s off your opponent's side of the field. So I don't see why they'd say it's bad, but some gadget runners don't like it because they use their hand too fast and then to go to useless, useless to them. Um, Clear World, I know a lot of people say it's bad because if you creature swap a light or dark monster, creature swap and Clear World can conflict with each other. But I, I, I think it's more of a matter of how you play it and what you consider bad, really. Because, I mean, one of the favorite anti-meta tech choices for side decks is either DD Crow... Soul Release, or what I use, Big Burn. Uh, and each person prefers their own thing and makes up their own thing. So I think we should just let them do it. I mean, we can't stop them, obviously, but I'm saying I, I don't see any point to rag on them about it. That's about it for this video. I was just kind of replying to him because he was asking why do people make YouTube channels when other people have YouTube channels. And I think it's just for the whole point of getting subs and maybe feeling more important I don't know as for the trade binder stuff I've got no idea personally I hate trading over the internet I don't know maybe it's just me uh, I feel kind of wary about sending my cards off to some distant place where I, I don't know where they're going or anything like that um I don't do trades on my channel and probably won't um I do know some people yeah some people do uh trades on their channel and they get lots of subs for it like, um, uh, Mcole40, um, he's got a really big channel. Um, d there's lots of people who do it. But overall, I think everybody, everybody makes their own channel because they want to get their views out there and their opinions out there. And, 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 and in the end, I don't, think it, I don't think that's bad. I think it's a good thing overall. So to the people who made their own YouTube channels, just try to do something original. Don't, try not to try not to copy something you see online. If you see something online, you think, "Oh, that's cool." Maybe do it once or twice, but try not to copy it a lot because then you kind of take away from someone else's channel and their ideas. Like the new thing I started, I'm gonna be starting on my channel. But that that's just neither here nor there. Anyways, this was Diagu replying to Dex Silent Enigmas Yugi Tubing Part Three. It's all the same shit video. Just giving my opinion like I think everyone else is trying to do. So, I'll talk to you later.